is in today's video I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process of how you go from taking the Moringa plant to taking it into bottle form so you can take it with you on the go. Let's get to it. So the first step in my eight step process of getting Moringa to be into pill form is to get yourself some fresh Moringa. And I happen to grow Moringa in my backyard. It's part of the reason I've created this YouTube channel because I'm so excited about sharing and um, participating in the world of Moringa growth uh, to see, to show people how easy it really is especially if you live in hot climates I live in Southern California that you can uh, do the same type of thing for yourself and uh, get yourself uh, fresh moringa so a caveat is I just wanted to say that my real preferred way of having moringa is fresh so I usually will go out and just grab a bit of moringa to add to whatever dish I'm creating or if I am, um, you know, wanting to put it even in my smoothies. Uh, so I, I don't prefer the powdered form. The reason I am going through this process to create powdered tablets is ultimately because one, I like to have Moringa available to me on the go. I am uh, going through a number of tests with myself, with family and with friends to see how the process of going with Moringa for multiple days, how it affects their mood, how it affects their energy levels, their life, uh, their skin, uh, hair growth, uh, a, a number of other things that have, have been associated with uh, the powerful nutritional benefits of taking Moringa. So my step-by-step -step process, I am talking a, a lot over this, but I hopefully you're watching. Step one was to get some Moringa. Step two was to break it into smaller bundles. Step three we're at right now, which is rinsing your Moringa. Uh, you can clean it a number of different ways. Uh, typically, it's just like a vegetable. You want to clean it something like three times. And in this process, what I've done is I will hang my uh, rinsed Moringa out to dry. And so I'll just rinse it. I'll leave it in this same state where it hasn't been plucked yet. Other people pluck it and then they'll uh, lay, lay it out to dry right away. I usually will let the Moringa plants hang dry to get the water out first before I put them uh, in a state that they can uh, do a little bit more drying. And so I um, then take my bundles once they've been sufficiently dried from the initial water and then I'll lay them out and pluck the leaves off of the stems and lay those out for initial drying. Now I put my leaves on wax paper and left them in my garage, which is, to be honest, not the ideal situation if you have some sort of screen, almost like your a window screen. If you have some of those handy, those are going to really do very well for allowing your Moringa leaves to get enough air to dry very quickly. Um, leaving them out to hang dry um, before you take them off the stems is also perfectly fine. I just happened to do it this way this time. And so there I'm getting some help from my assistant, my daughter. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate the help and that's a good way to enlist little ones to get them involved so step six let those uh, leaves dry I let mine dry overnight again they were in wax paper so it took them a little bit longer typically if you let them hang dry it would be about four hours and then step seven you go ahead and take those dried leaves dump them into your food processor whatever you have to uh, get the powder created and uh I said to be called Moringa, and let, let it go pretty well. Get that um, powder baby really ground up there. It's my daughter's again helping with her little fan, and I then created the piles. Those that's pretty much all it gives <laughs> from all that moringa I cut down. I cut down uh, five big, big tree growths down, and it turned out to be about five little piles. 
and ultimately um, as I sifted through and you, you can see what I'm doing is getting away some of the bigger chunks I, I'm not as particular about having some of the smaller ones in there if you were to buy this online you certainly would want to have it as pure as possible uh, I since I'm doing it for myself and just for family I'm not as particular about what's in my you know how much I uh, get out of those uh, the little smaller stems because um, they're not going to do any damage to me so then it's the final step which is going to be the trickiest one it certainly recommend getting yourself some sort of pill um, I forget what they call these pill fillers or something like that so I purchased this 100 pill filler online and then got myself a thousand capsules to fill size zero again you want to make sure that your sizes match that you buy uh, with your pill filler and one thing I would, I would say about the ones I got that I was not happy with is the pills I got were, were not separated definitely look for pill when you buy your pills it's recommended to have them pre-separated because I had to spend a bunch of time separating my pills first and then secondly um, I didn't I'm not a huge fan of the clear pills just because it's just hard to see it's hard to know that you've got the pill entered into its little slot and so it just <laughs> For my, my eyesight, I, w I was having a difficult time working with clear pills, although, you know, who knows if there's any damage to having the colored pills. But at any rate, I'm going to look into that for the next time, using colored pills, especially having two different colors. I really think that would be helpful. So you're watching here um, the usage of this particular... Um, pill filler uh, again I bought this on Amazon It's about $30 it took a long time to arrive I think it arrived all the way from China but once you get it and once you um, try to use it definitely watch the YouTube video the the instructions are difficult to follow everything was mostly in uh, I believe Chinese and I had to go watch a YouTube video a couple different times just to uh, make sure I understood how to do it exactly. And once I got that down, it was kind of simple. You can see all you do is just uh, put the things together. I have the top on the the top halves on that top section, and then the bottom halves are in the are filled on the bottom, and then you squeeze it together. And once it's squeezed together, all the pills stick into this center platter and then they easily fall out just as so and there's a hundred moringa capsules created just like that in um, not a lot of time and I'm gonna do this in one with one hand trying to pick up all these 100 capsules and I'm gonna demonstrate putting them into a bottle it's actually very easy again with this wax paper uh, even one-handed I, I don't do too bad I only uh, miss a few of them right here so, spillage but um, yeah so 100 I'm, I just took an old capsule bottle used it to fill it up and um, that, there you go I got my 100 capsules I'm excited to use them throughout the days if you're a fan of Moringa, please like and subscribe and we'll look forward to more studies coming along soon.